Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron. I hope you're having an incredible day or night in Jesus. The Essential Archaeological Guide to Bible Lands by Titus Kennedy. Absolutely amazing. I love this book. I like his other two books, Excavating the Evidence for Jesus. Maybe the other one is Excavating the Evidence for the Bible. This is just awesome. It's hardback, unlike the other two are paperback. And it's done by Harvest House. And he's got some good YouTube videos, but extraordinarily well done. It's recommended by Mark Yarborough, uh, Leonard Stripling, uh, John Bloom. And uh, I'll read just a little bit about it. It's One thing I like about this is it's not a huge book. It's, it's a textbook, but it's not huge. And so chapter one, Mesopotamia and Persia. He's got Uruk, which is Eric in the Bible. Babylon, Nineveh, Nineveh, Ur, Haran, and Susa. And then chapter two, Egypt and Sinai, Ramesses, Python, Heliopolis, Memphis, Thebes, Sinai. I was just reading an article in the Daily Mail about um, meat of Menhep the third, I think, the richest man who ever lived. That was the title of the article. The Levant, which is kind of the plain area. Jerusalem, Ai, Dan, Gezer, Hazor, Jericho, Lachish, Megiddo, Rabbath, Ammon. Keeps going. Sodom, Nazareth, Tiberias. And then Anatolia, which is basically Turkey, has all kinds of stuff there. And then Greece, Rome, and the Mediterranean. A lot of great full color pictures throughout this. It's Unearthing the Bible is the name of his other book. I just turned to it, the advertising here. Also, every few pages, he's got like a selected bibliography, which I learn a lot from that. So it looks like it's 476 pages of text, 477 pages with a selected bibliography here. Uh, room to write, good printing, it's not small print, not a great big book loaded with information i've used him as a textbook on our biblical archaeology today podcast with steve waldron available hopefully on spotify i've done a couple thousand episodes on there i've been having some troubles um but this is just a great book i really encourage people to get this book and so the essential archaeological guide to bible lands I think you'll love it. So God bless you. Join us daily. I'm thinking of the Wycliffe Dictionary of Biblical Archaeology. It's awesome too, but it's dated. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.